the gray water garden is doing really well. I call it the gray water garden because the kitchen sink drains into a little uh, tank right underneath the mint plant there. And it keeps all of this watered. That's a blue corn hybrid that a friend sent me the seeds to and I'm just growing some to uh, get enough seed to plant a big crop of it next year. Should make for a nice high protein uh, chicken feed, if not maybe some blue tortillas. The Korean melons have done well. We didn't even plant those. They're a volunteer. We don't even like those. But the birds do. I'll show you the terraces. This is the bottom terrace garden that I documented in that video a few months back. It's done really well. It holds the water good in spite of the dogs keeping the uh, ground cover off of it and digging holes in it. I set this barrel in there to slow them down a little bit and uh, hold up my little orange tree. I'm actually getting oranges this year. It's been a bumper year for basil and I put my little lemon tree in the ground. But it's 100 degrees this week, all week, and this is August. My neighbor's gardens are all dead. This is the terrace that stair steps down the hill. And you can see we've got no shortage of green on this place. The little raised beds are doing just fine. It's that herb garden I built a while back. The raised bed that uh, I made from a yard cart. Now this is my top garden. And it's also basically just a big terraced bed. You see I built a wall there to keep the water from running down. And even though it's been 100 degrees all week and it's going to be 100 degrees all day. And we've only watered a few times this whole season. We rarely have to water. It's all about good soil management. Keeping your keeping your topsoil and your water in, in place so that it can go where it needs to go.